Hi, I'm Sharon Gorgie, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Environmental Engineering program here at the University of Michigan in the research group of Dr. Anna Mikuluk. My research focuses on the global carbon cycle from an atmospheric perspective and how scientific modeling can be useful for supporting climate change mitigation policies. My scientific work uses measurements of atmospheric carbon dioxide sampled at various points around the globe to infer the amount of carbon that is continuously being exchanged at the Earth's surface. Variations in atmospheric CO2 can be traced back to surface exchange using an atmospheric inverse model. These models use CO2 measurements with information about atmospheric transport to infer the most likely distribution of carbon sources and sinks on a global grid within a statistical framework. In addition to the atmospheric data, these models also assimilate other data sets related to carbon cycle processes, for example, vegetation indices, land cover classifications, and population density maps. In my current project, we estimate carbon exchange across North America for 2004 at a 1 by 1 degree lat long resolution using atmospheric measurements from nine retrofitted cell phone towers. These towers, which range in height from 30 to 450 meters, sample continuously throughout the day, providing a different view of regional carbon exchange every time the winds shift direction. We then compare the estimated sources and sinks from our model, shown here for four months in 2004, to estimates from mechanistic process-based models. By reconciling estimates from atmospheric inversions and mechanistic models, we hope to improve prediction of future carbon exchange. Having a better understanding of carbon source and sinks is important for two main reasons related to climate change mitigation. First, about half of fossil fuel emissions to the atmosphere are currently taken up by land and oceans through natural processes. However, these sinks are highly variable from year to year due to climate variability and land management practices, and the future strength of the sinks is also uncertain due to long-term climate change itself. Improving our ability to model these sinks is critical for planning the global emission reductions necessary to stabilize atmospheric CO2 within safe margins. Secondly, any future international climate change agreement will rely on effective and practical methods to verify and monitor CO2 emission reductions, perhaps with a streamlined form of the atmospheric inversions I currently work on. Overall, my research provides an example of using scientific modeling to support informed decision-making for managing global environmental problems such as climate change.